Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Beards and Gear, we are going to be checking out the iLoud Precision MTM Studio Monitors from IK Multimedia. So I recently went to NAM 2024, and that was my first NAM since 2020, and I've been kind of out of the loop as far as releases centering around the timing of the NAM show. Well, last year, 2023, IK Multimedia apparently rolled out a, you know, a much extension of the iLoud series monitors that we've seen for a lot of years, the desktop style monitors. However, they came out with some Italian made uh, monitors that are full size, quite large and quite capable. And I had no idea. And we're going to check out the biggest set from the MTM series the MTM Precisions from IK Multimedia. Now, before we go any further, this video is brought to you by the fine folks over at Sweetwater. Sweetwater has all of the things for your studio monitoring needs from the inexpensive to the really expensive and everything in between. Sweetwater's got you. I will link down below in the description for more information. So you're probably thinking what I was probably thinking upon seeing these monitors at NAM. Since when does IK Multimedia make full-size giant studio monitors. I had no idea and I was blown away by the entire, you know, iLoud line as it exists today. I had no idea these things were even a thing. And I heard someone kind of playing around with, you know, the demo that was set up in the booth while I was walking by and I stopped and I played with these monitors with studio examples and, you know, various song examples for like a good 30 minutes. Like, and this is at NAMM, like when everyone's walking around and stuff, I was stunned at the sound of these monitors, especially knowing, uh, you know, these are about 1200 bucks each. So the iLoud Precision MTMs are a 175 watt powered monitor utilizing two five inch woofers and one one and a half inch tweeter. Now it's imperative that the tweeter in the center is at ear level and these monitors can be uh, vertical or horizontal. It doesn't really matter. They're made to be both ways. I have mine in a vertical configuration just because of the uh, you know, space constraints and things like that. However, these are very, very powerful monitors and each of these monitors frequency range is 36 Hertz to 30 kilohertz. So if you're a dog, these are gonna sound great. Now, each of these monitors comes with its own ARC microphone. You only need one to utilize the, the ARC room correction and the X monitor virtual monitoring software, which we will get to in just a second. However, when you run your room correction, each microphone runs into a monitor. So you do a monitor one at a time, meaning you have to do the sets of measurements twice. But once you, you're done, you're then done. And also if you are utilizing the X monitor software, which we will talk about again in just a second, each one of these speakers needs to be hooked up to your computer via the included USB cable, right? So it's gonna cost you two USB ports if you're not using like, you know, the new ARC standalone hub. If you want to use the, utilize the standalone included in the built-in monitor arc system, two USB cables, it's just the way it goes. Now the rear panel of the Precision MTMs feature a bevy of controls, including the XLR input for the aforementioned arc microphone. However, there are many EQ points that you can um, basically customize the sound of the monitor to your environment if you want to do that by ear. Uh, so you have low shelf, high shelf, and a mid bump, as well as uh, a calibration indicator off and on, and the USB jack and the level control. And you also have an eighth inch in and through for the hardware optional um, X monitor controller. So you can actually use the hardware buttons, a four button controller to switch between virtual monitoring, which is pretty cool. Okay, so you've used your included ARC microphone to run room correction and store the room correction onto the monitors. You are hooked into your computer via USB for each monitor. What do you do then? Let me introduce you to the X monitor software. This is a virtual monitoring software system that you can see I have my corrected EQ profiles for each for my left and right, one being left, two being right. 
I can also look at my before, which before were pretty wild in here. All right, I have to have, I have to have the arc uh, correction software. All right, I have to have it because I'm above garage and I have this weird L shaped wall right here. And it's just the way it goes. It's the best I can do to use something like this, which is incredibly helpful. But my EQ curve afterwards is pretty flat and usable. Once it knows what your room sonically sounds like, you can then go in and customize your four different presets, which again, you can have a hardware version on your desktop to select between these. However, if I want to, oh, I don't know, if I want to assign button four to a specific studio monitor, I can do just that and I can go to, you know, a modern Yamaha, for example, and it will give me the EQ curve to listen through these speakers of a modern, what I assume is a five inch Yamaha desktop speaker. But if I want to, mm, let's say go to some quested eight inch speakers, boom, I have that option as well. Now, if I wanna customize any of these EQ curves, I can add a low shelf and a high shelf, I can, which is essentially using the controls on the back of the speakers physically in the software environment. I don't wanna do that at this time because I like how it sounds. However, this is a very, very good option if you wanna get a sense of what things sound like on multiple monitors. The X monitoring software is incredible. <laughs> So how did these sound? Well, for all of the bells and whistles, having got them about a month ago into my room here, these things sound amazing. And they pair very, very well with other monitors, meaning they don't sound like my Genelex, right? I don't want another pair of monitors that sounds like my Genelex. The point of having a B monitor is to have a completely different listening source and to check your mix and translation on those. Now, going from any speakers, A to B sounds weird, so I usually have to stop my music, switch to the monitors, and then start playback. But still, I have a lot of definition in the top end. I am not using my sub with, with the MTMs because I don't need to, because they go all the way down into the, the 30 hertz, the, and uh, the 36 hertz, excuse me. But they're just, they're different but they're precise and they're detailed like I need a monitor to be detailed. They've been pretty fun. I like the physical size. I like that they're big monitors and that I can just crank up for listening pleasure, things that I'm not listening to critically as well. And yeah, they don't have kind of the spiky top end that the Genelex tend to have, that all Genelex tend to have. They're much more pleasurable to listen to, but I don't feel like they're too smoothed over, if that makes sense, sonically speaking. So yeah, I've just, I've really, really enjoyed these monitors and I am very impressed with them and I will be continuing to use these for the foreseeable future. All applicable links down below in the description if you'd like to know more about all things IK Multimedia, iLoud, MTM, Precision Monitors. 
I'll link down below in the description. And while you're there, please click that subscribe button to further support this channel. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.